You know, it's always difficult um, to know at any one time as a basic scientist whether what you're doing at that time is, you know, going to have some monumental significance. Uh, I'm not sure my work has monumental significance, but it certainly has been recognized uh, as having some significance. The thing about basic science is that um, we, um, in any one, time, any one day, any one experiment, you never really know. You try your best every single day. And I tell my students, you know, every day that you, uh, that you work in the lab is a day that you'll never have again. And so think very carefully to do the most important thing that you can do every day. But the nature of science is, uh, is such that if you're doing real research on the frontier where nobody's ever been, you know, um, it doesn't always work. Actually, the, the hardest thing about being a scientist uh, is you have to be prepared to fail most of the time. And a Nobel laureate might be uh, a scientist who fails only 99% of the time. Maybe everybody else who's a little bit less lucky or, or whatever fails 99.9% .9 of the time. So by definition, what you're doing at any one time is not, it's a little hard to know if it's the most important. On the other hand, when it does happen, and it's happened to me actually twice, I've had very special moments and I kind of understood and everybody around me kind of understood that it was a special moment. We celebrated uh, some of the basic uh, discoveries at the time they were made. Uh, the, the, I, with, the, with my coworkers, you know, the scientists, uh, it's also very important for, for uh, students especially to understand that, that, that science uh, these days is not uh, a solo enterprise. It's, it's the work of a team. Um, it's students, professors, uh, and we all contribute. Not everyone gets recognized with a Nobel Prize, but, uh, but, but there are a lot of people who contribute.